Hey guys, today we're talking about 10 style tips I wish someone had told me when I was younger. Oh, and this is going to be my last video in this apartment because we're moving to London. So you're gonna see some changes in the backdrop for the next couple of weeks because I'm not really sure where I'm gonna film the next couple of videos. We're gonna be in Paris for two weeks where I'll be doing a meetup. So stay tuned for that. I'll post it on my Instagram and probably in a community post as well. And then we're gonna be looking for a new place in London. As you can see, the infamous clothes rack is already gone, but don't worry, I am going to get a new one for our next apartment. Can't have YouTube videos without a clothes rack, come on. Anyways, last video with this setup. Let's get straight into it. 10 style tips I wish I was told earlier. Let's go. Tip number one, baggy clothing do not make you look dope. I used to be that kid in high school who would wear baggy clothing all the time. Jeans with a crotch to the knees like super pulled down with the oversized t-shirt and honestly it just looked terrible. Luckily I learned that lesson quickly. Which brings me to tip number two. Fitting does not mean skin tight. So I learned my lesson and <laughs> I thought everything needed to be like super fitting and that that meant extremely tight all over the body so i would go extra small everything skin tight do the complete opposite of the baggy clothing and that does not look good either guys it's all about finding a good middle ground finding a balance you don't want your t-shirt to be super oversized but you also don't want it to be skin tight showing off all your nipples and all you want it to like gently hug your body without constricting any of your movements Number three, you don't need it in every color. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm the only one who used to do that, but whenever I would find something that fit me really well, I would just get it in every possible color. Like if I found a t-shirt I liked in black, I would get it in purple, white, yellow, blue, green, every color in the book. And that just leads to a wardrobe with a lot of useless stuff that you're not actually wearing. So when you're making purchases, if you find something you really like, even if there's tens of colors for it. Be intentional with your purchases. Actually try and think, am I going to use this garment? If you think you're only gonna wear it once or twice, maybe it's not worth buying it. Number four, there's something called a tailor. I didn't know you could bring your clothes to the tailor. And that was a magical moment for me when I found that out. I, I remember I went into a shop with my mom, I was like 15 or something and I found this really cool sweater I really loved, but it was just too long. It was a little too long in the hem and the sleeves were a little too long because I'm a relatively short guy. So that tends to happen to me a lot, especially with pants. And my mom told me, yeah, you can get it. You can still get it. We'll just bring it to the tailor for an extra 15 bucks. He'll make it perfect for your size. And when I discovered that, that changed the whole game for me because I'm a short guy and I need to get stuff shortened for me because everything's too long. My jeans are always too long and sometimes they're too wide, I gotta get them tapered. Anyways, the tailor is your best friend, guys. Bring your clothes to the tailor. And that brings me to number five. Not all of your pants need to be the exact same length. So when I figured out that you can bring your clothes to the tailor, the first thing I did, because I get obsessed whenever I get into a new topic or something, I just have that personality. I wanna know everything about it and get things done right. So once I figured that out, I directly went into researching online, how long should my pants be? Like where should they finish on the shoe? And once I got that down, I thought all of my pants needed to be that exact same length. Jeans, chinos, trousers, whatever I had, I would get them tailored to that length. But not all of your pants need to be at that exact same length. Like jeans, if you have jeans that are a little skinnier, you can have them be slightly longer so that they can fall on the shoe. Or maybe you want crop trousers and jeans and chinos shouldn't finish at the exact same length because it's a different material and you want it to drape differently over the shoe. So don't get OCD with the exact length of your pants. It's okay to have pants at different lengths, especially if they're different fits, different cuts and you just want them to have different shapes, you know? Number six, stop it with the graphic tees already. I don't know if you're wearing graphic tees, but God, I used to wear a lot of graphic tees when I was young. Like I thought more graphics was more style, you know, just get a t-shirt, get a cool graphic on it and just rock that graphics on the pants, everything. No, no, just stop it with the graphic tees. It does not look good. The majority of the time, I'm not saying all graphic tees are bad. Like 
Some people can pull it off. It really depends on the t-shirt and on the outfit. It's very contextual. So I'm not gonna give it a hard no, but the majority of the time, you're usually better off with a simple, neutral, crew neck, well-fitting t-shirt. Just maybe dial it down a bit on the graphic tees and stash them on the bottom of the closet for a bit. Number seven, seven, more accessories does not mean more style. You don't need the tie and the tie bar and the lapel and the flower and everything and the watch and the three bracelets, especially that, God. That used to be trending for a while, you know, so I'd be the kid with the one watch and then like three bracelets stacked on that same wrist and it's just, it can look a bit ridiculous, you know, so I'm not a big fan of it anymore. I think, I, I do think you can combine watches and bracelets, like that's fine, but maybe just, just one, you know, just one that looks very good with that particular watch. Don't stack it up to three or four, you know. I heard that quote somewhere, you know, like before you go out, just remove one thing. And I think that's a great quote. I think a lot of outfits could benefit from being a bit more stripped down, a bit more pared back and keep it minimal and sophisticated. Number eight, experiment with different fits. I wish someone had told me that not all my clothing needed to have the same exact fit. Like not all my pants needed to have the same taper, the same size around the thighs and my t-shirts didn't have to be like the exact same sleeve length and fit around the chest. There is something called oversized fit and that's okay. Like yes, it's a bit more of a trend, but there's definitely a wide range of cuts and shapes of garments that can look great in fashion. And I think it's cool to experiment with different fits. Like right now, I'm, I'm definitely going on a much wider kick with my, with my pants and experimenting with different stuff, you know, more long line jackets or shirts and stuff. And I really like it. So don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone and experiment with different fits. Number nine, it's okay to buy a more colorful, trendier piece. Not all of your clothing has to be super interchangeable. I used to be that way for a while where I wanted everything to be able to go with 56 different outfits and have everything be in neutral colors. Like my whole wardrobe would be white, black, gray, navy, and olive green basically. So everything could be interchangeable. I could just go into my closet with my eyes closed, pick out anything, and most of the time it would go reasonably well but lately i've been i've been on a kick of not doing that anymore like it's okay to buy a trendier piece that you're not going to wear 56 times that you might only wear once or twice or three times in a year and that's okay because fashion is meant to be fun i don't know i just get bored I, just, I get bored if my wardrobe is just stale no colors no patterns and everything is interchangeable like i think it's fine to buy a more of a statement piece once in a while and i'm gonna quote mary kondo on that one buy stuff that sparks you joy or that sparks joy in you. I think that's a great quote. Like some of the stuff in my wardrobe, maybe it's it's a, it's a neutral color and it goes well with everything, but it doesn't bring me joy anymore. So I might not want to wear that, so I'll donate it. And maybe there's another piece that's less interchangeable that doesn't go with everything because it's maybe a bold, bright yellow color jacket or coat or something, but I freaking love it. So I'm going to wear that. I'm going to keep it in my wardrobe and if I only wear it once or twice in a month, that's okay, because when I do wear it, I'm gonna love it. And lastly, number 10, which is closely related to number nine, have fun. Guys, style is meant to be fun. Like it's you're not you're not meant to just overthink everything and everything needs to be perfect. No, like you should have fun with it, experiment with different styles, with different cuts, and try to push the boundaries, you know. Don't stay in your box, don't stay in your comfort zone, like. Yes, it's okay to have interchangeable pieces and it's okay to have like, you need those basic pieces that go well with everything. But at some point, why do we buy clothes, you know? If we didn't care about the way we dress, everyone would dress in a garbage bag or the exact same uniform. Like the reason we dress the way we dress is because we want to express ourselves and clothes make us feel good and make, makes us feel confident. And just, you can put on a certain color or something or certain garments and just, it can make you feel great that day. And I think that's the power of clothing. And for me, style is most of all meant to have fun. So I encourage you to have more fun with your style. Buy something that you wouldn't normally wear. Try stuff that, like go into a store and just 
try everything that you would normally not gravitate towards because you never know. A lot of time you're gonna be surprised and you're gonna find stuff that actually really looks great on you and it might be slightly a bit out of your comfort zone, but I think it's good to push yourself sometimes. All right, and those were my 10 style tips for today. 10 tips that I wish someone had told me earlier. I got into fashion when I was maybe 13 or 14 in my teenage years and I loved it, but there was a whole bunch of mistakes. I did a whole bunch of stuff that when I look back, I, I think, why, why? Like so much money wasted and just things that I wish someone had told me, you know? So I'm telling them you now, in case you're early in your style journey, or even if you're later on in your style journey, I think some of those tips can really benefit you. So if they do, I really just means the world to me. That's all I'm trying to do, bring you guys value. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you did. It really does help support the channel and subscribe if you're new here. On that note, I wish you a beautiful, beautiful day, guys. And I will see you in the next video with a new backdrop. See you guys. Peace.